How to configure terminal server, remote desktop, in Windows Server 2019. I have already configured Active Directory on my server. My domain name is vinayak.local. And the remote desktop is also allowed on my server. Go to Server Manager. Click Add Roles and Feature. Click Next. Click on Role Based or Feature Based Installation. Click Next. Click Next. Click on Remote Desktop Services. Click Next. Click Next. Click Next. Click Remote Desktop Licensing. Click on Add Feature. Click on Remote Desktop Session Host. Click on Add Feature. Click on Remote Desktop Gateway. Click on Add Feature. Click on Remote Desktop Connection Broker. Click Next. Click Next. Click Restart the destination server automatically if required. Click on Yes. Click Install. Log on as Domain Administrator. Remote Desktop installation is successful. Click on Close. By default Remote Desktop we get 120 days free. Our Remote Desktop will be closed as soon as 120 days are complete and then we need RDP license to run again. Now we will create a new user and make it a member of the Remote Desktop group. Go to Active Directory User and Computer. Expand domain name, select users. Right click and select new user. I am creating two new users Sid and Ravi. Both of my users have been created. Select both user. Right click and select add to group. Type remote. Click check name. Select remote desktop user. Click on OK. Click on OK. Click on OK. Both users have now become members of the remote, remote desktop group. Click on built in. Double click on remote desktop users. Click on member. See both my users have been added to remote desktop users. Click on OK. Click on close. Now we will go to our client machine and access our remote desktop through RDP. You can log in with any user.
Go to run. Type MSTSC then press enter. Here we will enter the name or IP address of the remote desktop server. I'll use the IP address here. Click on connect. Fill remote desktop username and password then click OK or press enter. See our remote desktop successfully accessed. I have another Windows 7 virtual machine. I will try and access remote desktop on it as well. On Windows 7, we have to follow the same steps that we did in Windows 10 to access remote desktop. See our remote desktop successfully accessed. Now I am disconnect the remote desktop. Considerations first of all we have to see whether our remote desktop is allowed on the server. If we do not allow remote access to the server, we will not have remote desktop access. Whether we have configured the terminal server. Click on OK. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon for latest updates.